The top scientist at NASA has warned that an apocalyptic asteroid could crash into our planet sometime within our lifetime. That's scary. I'm scared. He made the announcement at the International Academy of Astronautics 2019 Planetary Defense Conference which took place on April 29th. Get ready for your daily dose of anxiety. Welcome back to Asteroid Review. I mean inform overload. On this channel we tell you about the most interesting news stories we find on the internet and we make them more entertaining. What is so entertaining about a cataclysmic asteroid crashing into our planet? I'm not sure. But it's still important so we're going to talk about it. By the way I am Charlotte and you should hit that subscribe for daily news updates that are actually interesting and to find out whether or not I have a belly button and you should follow the IO team on Instagram. Jim Bridenstine of NASA has warned that we need to stop treating asteroids like they are the center of action movie plots and start taking them seriously. But Jim, I don't want to miss a thing. That was a reference to Armageddon. He says that we need to prioritize planetary defense over more widely publicized NASA missions like the mission to Jupiter's moon Europa. Europa. He said to space.com, we have to make sure that people understand that this is not about Hollywood. It's not about movies. This is about ultimately protecting the only planet we know right now to host life, and that is the planet Earth. He also mentioned the Shalabans meteor, which if you don't remember was a huge meteor the size of a six story building that exploded in the atmosphere above the Russian city of Shelyabinsk. The meteor didn't even hit the surface of the Earth, and the explosion caused shockwaves that injured over 1,600 people. That explosion was estimated to have had the strength of 20 Hiroshima atomic bombs. And let's not forget the meteor that exploded a few weeks ago above the Bering Sea when an asteroid that was around 10 meters across detonated with a force that was equal to 10 Hiroshima bombs. Thankfully no one was injured because as I said this explosion took place over the ocean in a remote part of the world. But the thing that's scary about it is that NASA didn't see that asteroid coming. They didn't even know about it until afterward. The solar system still has a ton of debris floating around in it that's left over from when the planets were formed. Most of it is locked up in the asteroid belt, the Kuiper belt, and the Oort cloud. But there's still the possibility that those objects could leak out into the solar system and threaten our planet. Jim Bridenstine said, I wish I could tell you these events are exceptionally unique, but they are not. Listen here, Jim. That's scary, okay? I don't like scaring my little potatoes, but I do because it gets views. <laughs> NASA is working to combat the threat of potentially hazardous asteroids and meteors. They're currently detecting and tracking around 90% of the asteroids within the vicinity of our planet that are more than 495 feet. There's one asteroid in particular the scientists are planning for that's expected to fly by Earth in a decade on April 13th, 2029. This asteroid is 1,100 feet wide and it's nicknamed Apophis. It's expected to fly by Earth at a safe distance of 19,000 miles, but still, that's, uh, that's kind of close for comfort in cosmic terms. Scientists are still going to monitor the asteroid until then. It's expected to look like a moving star and will be visible above the southern hemisphere from the east coast to the west coast of Australia, then making its way to the Indian Ocean, then making its way to the US. Its closest approach will be above the Atlantic Ocean and it's going to be moving so fast that it's going to cross that ocean in under an hour. Scientists are quite familiar with this asteroid and they know its trajectory quite well. So at this time there's no cause for alarm. Yet. Apophis is just one of 2,000 potentially hazardous asteroids that we currently know of, and the plan is to research it so that we can have a better grip on planetary defense. That is all I have for you on this, for now. But it's time to respond to some comments from our video, NASA preparing for asteroid earth collision. Cheesy James said, how to cause instant anxiety just by looking at the title. Cheesy James, very cheesy. Galaxy Star Nightcore said, if an asteroid was coming to earth, I would watch all of your videos, gain all of your knowledge, and survive it. Gold star for you. Cody Culp said, all I know is I don't want to miss a thing. I don't want to close my eyes. Don't want to fall asleep. Cause an asteroid's coming. And I don't want to miss a thing. Alloy said, I can block any asteroid with just my forehead. That's impressive. Hey NASA, you should definitely hit up Alloy. His massive forehead will protect us all. That is it for me. Thanks for watching. To keep watching, click that playlist. And obviously, you should leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I will see you in a future IO video.